hello guys so as i've mentioned in some of my videos if you want to become a front-end developer or a full stack developer you need to choose a framework after learning html css and javascript right so in this video i'll be helping you guys decide which framework to learn between react and angular of course there are other frameworks that are out there but these are the two that i'm going to focus on because they are the ones that are mostly used by most companies in south africa so without wasting any time Let's get right into it. So to help you decide which framework to choose, we're gonna consider a few factors. So the first factor that we're gonna consider here is the salary. So with the salary, there's no much difference between the salary that React developers and the Angular developers are any, but on most applications that I've seen, the Angular developers are usually any more than the React developers. So the Angular developers and the React developers are any between 20,000 to 30,000 rand for the entry level jobs. So as you can see, they are the same, but based on the applications that I've seen or the job posts that I've seen, Angular developers are any more than the React developers, right? So it all depends on the company and how well you're good in negotiating. So even if you're a React developer, you can negotiate your salary very well and can earn more than someone who has Angular experience and can earn more than them if you're using React. So it all depends on how you negotiate and also depends on the company that you are interviewing with, right? So the next factor that we're gonna consider is the job market right so if you are applying to jobs as a front-end developer most job posts that you're gonna see will be of angular if you're from South Africa so angular has a lot of companies that are using it so they're not really letting go of angular and moving to react which is the future I think so on a lot of job posts that you're gonna see when you're applying to jobs you're gonna see that angular is the one that most companies are usually using right but if you want to get jobs like like planning for the long run you're gonna need to learn react right so a lot of companies are starting to move on to react because also if you know react it's easy to move on to react native for building mobile apps right so that's why most companies are starting to move on to react so yeah if you want to plan for the future i think if you know react that will really help you but if you just want to get jobs like instantly because right now a lot of companies in south africa are still using angular so i recommend you guys to actually learn angular if you want to get a job in the short term right after learning angular of course it's really easy to move on to react because once you learn a framework it's easier to move on to another framework right so you can decide which one to actually learn at the moment so another factor that we're gonna consider is the beginner friendliness of each framework so with react it's really beginner friendly because it's not like a big framework like angular because angular is really big so you actually have to learn a lot of things but with React is not really a big framework, so you can learn it much easier or you can understand it more easily than Angular, right? So also React is not really strict that much like Angular is because Angular, like I said, is a big framework. So there are a lot of things that you need to follow, but with React, it's not really that strict. So yeah, React is more beginner friendly than Angular. Then now we're going to move on to the learning curve of each framework. So like I said, as you've heard, as I've mentioned this regularly during this video, Angular is a big framework, right? So that means it will take long to actually learn Angular, but React is not really a big framework, so it will take less time to learn React than Angular, right? So also with Angular, you need to learn TypeScript. You don't necessarily need to learn TypeScript, but if you're learning Angular to get a job, you'll be using TypeScript with a job that will be requiring it if they're using Angular, right? So if you're gonna choose Angular, you need to learn TypeScript as well. So as you can see, it's adding on top of that learning curve that we already have for Angular. So you need to learn TypeScript. Then with React, also you can use TypeScript, but that's your choice, but you can use JavaScript, like pure JavaScript in React, right? Angular has a steep learning curve than React, right? As I've mentioned, as Angular is a big framework, like there are a lot of things that you need to learn inside Angular. So there are a lot of libraries that are already included in Angular. So you need to learn all those things, like how to actually use them and everything. So you need to follow everything that is set up in Angular, right? But with React, you can just install your own libraries. The ones that you need, don't really get those libraries instantly. You're gonna choose the libraries that you need for that specific purpose in React. But in Angular, there are a lot of libraries. So instantly, when you're actually creating a new Angular project, you're gonna get like a lot of libraries that are already included in your project. But with React, the libraries that you need, you're gonna install them 
for yourself. So for that reason, Angular makes it a bit harder to learn because it has all these things that are included in it, right? Then the last factor that we're gonna consider is the type of apps that you're gonna build with each framework. So with Angular, you're gonna need to use Angular if you're gonna build like big projects or build big apps, right? Like for example, if you're just building hobby projects, it's not a good choice to choose Angular because it's a big framework. There are a lot of things that you don't really need that you're not even gonna use in Angular, but they'll be there in your project, but you're not, you'll not be using them, right? So for this purpose, if you're building hobby projects that are not big, you're gonna need to choose React because it's not a big framework it doesn't really have a lot of things it's lightweight right so you're gonna choose the libraries that you need in your project that you're gonna use for that specific functionality right so you choose angular if you're building bigger projects but for react you can just build small projects but also you can use react to build big projects but it's gonna take some time to build those projects because angular already has a lot of things that are already included in it so it'll make your job easy to build bigger projects but with react because you need to install the libraries yourself and you need to know which libraries to actually install so yeah those are the factors that you're gonna need to consider when you actually need to decide which framework to choose between angular and react right of course like i said there are a lot of frameworks that are out there that you can choose from but these are the two frameworks that are popular right now of course Vue is coming up as well but i wouldn't recommend learning Vue right now you can learn it later on after learning either of these two frameworks because like i said once you know one framework it's easier to transition to another framework just like when you know a specific programming language is easier to transition to another programming language right so yeah you can choose which framework to learn between angular or react all right that's gonna do it guys if you haven't done this yet please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever i release new content and lastly like this video guys thank you guys so much for watching have an awesome day bye